Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the communication protocols. There are several communication protocols used in embedded systems, but the most used ones are UART, I2C, and SPI. Let's discuss about these. UART. UR stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. It's the same protocol that used when you are connecting an Arduino board to the PC. It has the following key features. This is a peer-to-peer -peer communication. It doesn't have a master-slave relationship. It means there is no master. Every PC or every device communicating is considered as a peer. Like they have equal rights to send data. Um, it's asynchronous. Asynchronous in this case means they don't have a dedicated clock line. But as you know, for the device to communicate, they need a, a clock. They need a communication rate. So for that, even though they don't use a dedicated line, they use a predefined body rate. It means every device is assigned a communication rate and the device on the other side is assigned the same communication rate known as the body rate. We commonly use 9,600 the rate or bit per second. How many lines does UART to use? It uses two lines plus ground. One line is called transmitter and another line is used is known as receiver. It's common to use TX and RX yeah, and what's special about UART is you you cross you cross. It means uh, this kind of crossover. You send from a transmitter to receiver. You send from a, a transmitter to receiver like this okay so what about the powering of the devices every device is powered individually typically five volts let's talk about i2c I2C is different from UART. First of all, I2C has a master slave architecture. It means there is a master in the communication and there is a slave. And it supports multiple slaves and multiple masters. That's special and this is the only one communication protocol that supports uh, multiple masters multiple slaves for example in this sketch in this scenario we have two masters and you have two slaves a master is a master one is communicating with slave one uh, it's communicating with slave two also and master two is communicating with slave one 
and it's communicating with slave too as well. We and then have more. Mm, okay. So uh, it's synchronous. It means it has a dedicated serial clock line set by the master that makes it synchronous. The lines it has, it has SDA or serial data. It has SCL, serial clock, in the ground. Devices will require power typically um, 5 volts. That's i 2 c and what about SPI? For SPI, it's uh, the only one protocol that has multiple lines. Um, it has actually four lines. Um, it can have more. For example, in this scenario, we we have more because we have the second slave. If you have a single slave, that's okay. But if you have more slaves, we can have more lines, especially for chip selector and chip selector. Though the pins it has are serial clock or let's start by chip selector. Chip selector or silver selector is a signal, is a line uh, carrying a signal from the master to the slave. It's the line used to select a slave uh, with which is going to communicate at that time. If there are uh, many master, many slaves, if one master is connected to many slaves, at the moment it will choose a slave to communicate with and it will switch to another slave and so on and so forth. Okay, so it has also a, a line called MOSI. MOSI is for uh, stands for master out slave in. It's a signal from the master to the slave. It's carrying data from the master to the slave. And MI so means master in slave out. It carries data from a slave to the master. And serial clock. A serial clock is to impose a communication rate, and it's the master which is going to impose a communication rate or a clock. This makes it synchronous because it uses a serial clock for, yeah, it has a dedicated line for serial clock for timing. Well, so in addition to these lines, of course we have ground and every device is powered individually. Sometimes we have a reset line like in the case of RFID, but it's not always. Okay, that's for SPI. So let's uh, also talk about the combination of communication protocols. 
sometimes these uh, uh, communication protocols are combined in, in one project or in one scenario. For example, this scenario, in this scenario, an RFID reader communicates with the microcontroller using SPI. Data is displayed on LCD via I2C and the microcontroller transfers data to a PC over UART. So we have our FID card reader communicating with the microcontroller using SPI that can be displayed on the CD and that used I2C and uh, data also is transferred for, to the PC for more processing and storage. So that's it. I remember I didn't talk about I2C as an abbreviation it actually this stands for inter integrated circuit inter integrated circuit and SPI stands for serial peripheral interface before I conclude I would like to let you know that you can have access to this resource and more resources by visiting my GitHub account and checking in the repository known as communication protocols. And you will have this file, the file uh, you was using to explain and you also have more details like introduction to i2c introduction to spi yeah you have these details and uh, you also have a code here that you can run If you have it, uh, two Arduinos or two Arduino boards connected, you can uh, make them talk using I2C, using SPI, using UART. Yeah. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next videos. Bye.